Sony cameras overheating. What can you do about it? Well, I'm going to tell you how to fix it. But before I do, I also want to mention that if you stick around till the end, I'll tell you how you can get my free ebook on looking and sounding great on video without spending a lot. Anyway, Sony cameras and overheating. What can you do about it? Well, it's not all bad. You can make great toast. The Sony Alpha range of cameras, as good as they are at shooting video, they can overheat. And when they do, they just shut off. No warning, nothing. Just shuts down. Could be right in the middle of a recording or even worse, bang in the middle of a live stream. If you've got a Sony camera like, say, the A6400, the A6600, the ZV-E10, there's a few things that you can do to stop it from overheating. First, change the settings. If we come into the settings, go to the toolbox, and then go down to auto power off temp, select that, and then change it to high, this is really going to help. Second, 4K. Are you recording in 4K? Do you need to be recording in 4K? If you just output into the web, likely 1080 HD is going to be more than enough. Most of the videos on the web are in HD. And if you're streaming in 4K, why? It's likely wherever you're streaming to, it's just down converting it to HD anyway. So you're just wasting your time using 4K. If you're using 4K, your camera's having to work like four times as hard to just process the video. So switch to HD. Now, if you're getting value from this lesson, hit subscribe, maybe even give the video a like. Next tip, number three. If you're recording in a studio like this, direct to camera, seriously, stop recording to an SD card. Hook your camera up to your computer with an HDMI cable and record on your computer. It totally takes the load off your camera. And you're not constantly swapping out cards. It just makes production so much faster. And it's easy. If you're on the Mac, you, you can record directly to, to Ecamm. If you're on the PC, you can use OBS. And I'll put links below. Try it out. You won't believe how much easier it is. All you need is an HDMI cable, a capture card like this Elgato, and either Ecamm or OBS. Number four, real simple. Flip the screen out. Tip number five, don't use a battery. Use a power supply and a dummy battery. And if you like, you can leave the battery door open. It all helps. Number six, what if maybe you live in one of those countries where it's warm all the time, and even after doing all this, your camera's still overeating. What can you do next? Well, you could move to the UK. It's never warm here. The sun never shines for longer than like 10 minutes. The summer's like two days long, if we're lucky. And like I promised at the start of this video, I've created an ebook, and it's full of tips, tricks on how to look and sound great on video without breaking the bank. And I've put a link below so you can download it for free. Well, there you go. I hope this has helped. Until next time, bye for now.